And then there's this constant debate in the book about whether Mary Cassatt, Mary Cassatt had a love affair with Degas. And everyone likes to make a simplistic connection between Cassatt and Degas because they say she was his student or she was his lover or he was her mentor and none of these relationships appear to be true according to the letters and the way that Mary Cassatt lived at that time. It appears to me as if Mary Cassatt was independently wealthy and Degas came from a wealthy upbringing so they connected to each other in a kind of bourgeois class sense and they found a friendship in that on that level and the biographer does a really good job of illustrating for us in her narrative descriptions a really strong stubborn moody spirited tall gray clad large hatted woman character um, Mary Cassatt reminds me a little bit of my grandmother who would not have had a love affair. My grandmother was very, very careful for her own safety and as much as we like to watch films and read books about love affairs, I don't think they were as prolific as the literary arts and the, the films want us to believe. So when it comes to whether Cassatt did have sex with Degas, I feel like from the letters and the character that comes across here, that a woman of that era just wouldn't do that. If she was well-bred, if she was bourgeois, it, it was unlikely that she would get her kit off. Um, There was also this divide between her and other artists because she didn't like the bohemian lifestyle, the what was perceived as dirtiness and people living with their models as lovers and mistresses. It was not what a well-bred woman would do at that time. 